My name's Stuart Cooper and uh, I actually teach Jiu Jitsu for a living in Vancouver but also I am also a filmmaker on the side so I've got my own YouTube channel uh, making documentaries on you know different Jiu Jitsu athletes. <laughs> So I started Jiu Jitsu in, I believe it was 2009 and um, just got hooked in it, you know, uh, something really clicked with me with Jiu Jitsu and then devoted my life to it. So um, I've been doing it for yeah, a long time now, since 2009 and uh, when you're in your 20s you don't think of the, you know, the wear and tear on your body, you know, you don't think long term. So it was a, a few years ago I really started to feel uh, my joints, especially my neck. So um, I remember contacting Scotty from CPI um, about seven months ago because uh, I was having so much trouble with my neck, my knees, and my right elbow. I got some MRIs done, it turns out I had five bulging discs in my neck, uh, degenerative disc disease, I had some severe arthritis in my right elbow, and both my knees had worn away the medial meniscus, so it was pretty much bone on bone. Two bones, it's decreased, so it's almost bone to bone. Is it? So I first injured my neck, there was a lot of wear and tear in my neck, but um, I started to really feel it. Uh, I remember it was 2017. I was playing a lot of uh, inverted guard where you go upside down, rolling for knee bars. Again, you don't think about this in your 20s. <laughs> you only feel it in your later 30s. You know, my hands were always going numb and it was never the same again. You know, and I actually spoke to the doctor and they were suggesting fusing my neck or actually having artificial disc replacement. So I chose to just do physical therapy over the years and you know, it got to the point where I had to change my jiu-jitsu game. I stopped wrestling because I was afraid to shoot a double leg because if someone just pushed my head, I would get, my right arm would just go dead. And then I became a butt scooter. <laughs> you know, I just play, became a guard player because I did not want someone pulling on my head anymore. And over the years, I just got used to this baseline pain of discomfort and it was just getting worse and worse. And, I'm 38 and I couldn't help but think, if I'm feeling like this at 38, what am I gonna be like at 48, 58? There's a whole second half of life you have to think about that you don't think about when you're younger. So we have one, two, and three discs affected right here. So you have bulging discs and C2, C3, mm -hmm. and C4, C5, and the most affected is C5, C6. We're going to put 10 million in it, each disc and we're going to treat the facets. The facets are the joints of the disc. We're going to treat all this area. Yeah. Okay? okay. We're going to use 60 million in, in, your, in, your, in your cervical spine. Um, so actually, I knew about CPI because of Scotty. <clears throat> Me, I actually know Scotty Nelson from years ago. We met in China at ADCC 2013 and uh, we became friends and years later, <clears throat> um, I'm actually traveling around the US filming documentaries and different Jiu Jitsu athletes and Scotty gave me a free place to stay. He, like, he's one of the most generous people I've ever met and he started CPI. Um, but then I started to um, hear different you know, uh, athletes talk about, like Eric Anders came here and he had his neck injected. Um, and then I was actually in LA last year and was speaking to Eddie Bravo. I went to his gym to train and he was telling me how much it helped his shoulder. And I thought, I need to come down and try this because I really was, uh, I, the, the pain in my right elbow, my neck, my knees, it was really affecting the quality of my life. Obviously my favorite thing to do is Jiu Jitsu. I love it. I love teaching, I love training and not being able to do the thing I love. And it was getting to the point where certain techniques were hard for me to teach. So I chose to take, uh, to come here, do the stem cells and you fly into San Diego and then you stay at the Sheraton Hotel and then they pick you up in the bus on the Monday at like 8, uh, 8.30 a.m. and then they drive you across the border. 
and then um, into Tijuana, straight to Chipsa Hospital, and then right away they're doing your blood work, x-rays, getting you on NADs, uh, Myers cocktails, um, ozone therapy, hyperbaric chamber, you know, every day, like the, they're giving you IVs with some good stuff, and they have it all, they have a plan for each individual. Uh, the next day, uh, you'll go and get the MRIs, and then you go and speak to the doctor, and you'll look at the MRIs, and they'll discuss with you what they recommend to have injected and how many stem cells to inject. Then the Wednesday, you have the injections, hyperbaric chamber, Thursday, more NAD, hyperbaric chamber again, the PEMF machine. Every day, they're just throwing the kitchen sink at your injuries, and um, they make it easy for you. It's like very laid back, you know, you don't have to think, they just, they pick you up, they text you when they're picking you up. It's, the service is, you know, above my expectation, you know. How are you, my friend? Good, how are you? Fine, thanks. I am Dr. Jose Antonio Figueroa. Nice to meet you. I will be your physician this week. <clears throat> Since June, how are you feeling? Good, yeah, so I got my neck injected. It was, uh, I think it was C5, C6, C7, and two facet joints. And my neck feels like a lot better. <laughs> okay. A lot better. Okay, I'm done. Everything's good. Mm -hmm. Can you have a, can you do a anterior exercise like this? How do you feel? Everything's good? Yep, yeah, it feels good. Okay. So it was um, six months ago uh, when I arrived here and it, for me, it was around, I started feeling the difference around the four month mark. And now it's been six months and my neck, like I couldn't do this. I had to, if I wanted to look to the right, I had to like do this. And like bringing my ears to my shoulder, you know, that was just extreme pain. I would get nerve pain shooting down my arm. So it's really, truly amazing. It's incredible, you know, the difference in my neck. I can actually go back to jiu-jitsu and roll with confidence and I feel like it's actually, if I want to carry on competing, it's added a few more years, you know, um, to that. And both my knees, you know, um, I remember going for a long hike right before I came here and I almost had to stop. I was in that much pain in my left knee. And now, you know, I, I couldn't even bring my heel to my butt. Now it's, my knees feel fine. I've got no pain in my knees. No pain in my elbow, no pain in my neck. It's incredible, actually. So I'm now here, six months later, getting my follow-up. And uh, spoke to the doctor and he was that impressed with the results that he suggested to not re-inject those areas, allow the healing co to continue because the stem cells work up to 12 months. So I decided with the 30 million stem cells extra uh, to get 10 million in my left elbow because I've been having some nerve issues with that and the rest in an IV, so 20 million in an IV. So yeah, I really recommend um, stem cells to anyone who's ever had a career in combat sports and you know, we speed up the aging process. So if someone's had a full career in MMA or Jiu Jitsu, by the time they're in the late 30s, early 40s, they've done a number on the body. So I, I really recommend to those people to look into CPI because it can reverse a lot of that damage they've done. Because I just, I don't, I'm, I'm pain free, you know, so it works, you know. I've spoken to a lot of people and a lot of people are skeptical about stem cell therapy. They say there's not enough science or data or it's placebo. I'm telling you, it fucking, it works. It absolutely <laughs> works. Thank you very much.